Hey, this is Mass X with a first look video at Phantom Blade Executioners. Open beta, it just opened up a few days back. It's actually almost 30 days long. They're really planning on having people push this game. I believe it's close to release and that is probably why. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at this game because I was kind of excited because I was really enjoying what I saw graphically. When you come into the game, it has some brief introductions and some gameplay, but then you, you basically start building your character. You have a choice of three at the beginning of the game to start with. I didn't see any real preference with any of the three and why you would pick one over the other, so I picked the one I just like the look of the most. And you do have lots of options, okay? You do have a training mode that allows you to test and get honed down your skills with how things work as you can see it's really straightforward to be able to allow you to get stronger in the use of this there's a tutorial section that literally walks through so much and it does go through with the story mode of the game like you know how to move combo chain is crucial your attacks things like that it goes through all that so it's really self-explanatory and it's a system that doesn't prolong things and you know how sometimes in a game they will make you walk through so much tutorial and walk through this game didn't do that at all and the nice thing is you can always go back to it you can you can skip it you can move through it fast then you can go back if you feel like hey i'm not sure about this whole parry and perfect parry in the game and how to use this boom you just go right back in and then you can go through it again really nice feature i've got to say and you kind of navigate the main screen it's a little different than what you've seen as you go you walk up different characters in areas offer different things so as you can see this has the training story tutorial inventory if you go here it changes the costume gear skills and then that's the map if you want to go straight to the map you go over here and then you get the option of your friends your mail a journal and your quests to claim as well as timed events so they got it in a kind of an interesting format but it's really simple to use very straightforward there is a gotcha aspect to this game of course as you can see there's a premium shop with bundles that you can get nothing that i have felt has been a necessary thing yet um, they do push the costumes quite a bit so i have a feeling that's where they're they're looking to see people want to change up the looks of these characters and you know i'm just going through here real quickly and of course they have always have your rookie booster pack and yes there is equipment in this game as you can see there's a gear section where you can of course gear up your character and there's different levels to the gear and you've got you know everything you could imagine from boots pants tops capes gloves swords etc etc and that's also something else that they look like they drop in the game so that's not an issue to get them but they also have monetized those too just so you're aware for people that want to jump quicker let's jump into a little gameplay here what i've noticed is this is incredibly fluid when you move it there's no lag or anything it's actually really nice as you can see her moving around you've got combos that you can do to take out your enemies. I'm on a master. I don't know if that was the wisest choice while trying to talk through a video right now, but, but as you can see, it's pretty, pretty, really fluid. I love the graphic style here. And it's just a lot of, I, I've, I've found it really enjoyable. Now I know a lot of people don't like this uh, side moving type of game, and it may not be for you, you know, but the graphics are cool it looks original that's what i like about this and i love originality and the story that you get when playing this game is really engulfing and interesting and i have found myself really enjoying it and i'm playing more to learn the story than i am the actual game this is not good my combo isn't ready let's see if we can get through this real quick Boom, 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 boom. 
Die, 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 die. There we go. You know, and sometimes you can find hidden stuff by breaking things through. But <coughs> I just think the graphics look great. They're so original looking. There's a lot of side maps. I tried to pick one that wasn't going to have a lot going on with it. Um, one of my only little complaints is, is I hate when you get to an end of a section and you have to hit some sort of button to move forward. You do have to do that in this game. It will tell you enter and I have to admit that's not... It's something that, I don't know why it annoys me, but it always does in any game that does it. It's not just this one, it's just any game that has that little option. I find it more in games that are very similar to this, but... As you can see, I, I think the movements are just so fluid and fun and graphically how it looks. I mean, when you look at that background, it just looks so cool. Can I get up there? Oh, that's not very nice. I want to get up there. Well, let's see if I can kill these guys first. This is going to be tough. I've got half health. Oh no, half health. There we go. But yeah, as you can see, this is really just... Ah, yes, I got up there. Let's see if there's something up here to claim. Of course there won't be, but never want to take a chance. I guess you can't break that bucket. But I don't know, if this is something that interests you, for me, oh, we found our treasure chest. Good job, yay. Hey, our treasure chest just attacked us. That's not the regular treasure chest. I was not expecting that. I was just expecting to get my coins. Wow. Got attacked by a treasure chest. That wasn't very nice. But if this is the type of game you like, uh, I, I highly am going to recommend this when it comes out. It's, it's playing so well right now that it's really incredible at this point. Um, that I can't imagine it's going to be long before it comes out. And as you can see, it looks like that's a little heel area. I've come across those a few times in playing. Anything else I can break? Oh, shoot. I was not expecting a sneak attack. Sneaky game. Just want to finish this level so it's saved and I can get out of here. And we can talk more about it. At least I got my health back, so I'm okay. And one of the interesting things with this game is when you finish a level, instead of you going back to a menu screen, it comes to you. So basically, this is what it looks like at the end of when I finish the level, and then I click, you know, that's completed, and then the, the horse carriage comes up, um, the other lady as well as the little bird feeder. I just think that's absolutely hilarious that they bring the m Menu system to you. I think it's it's pretty funny to say the least And then right here as you can see here's a gear shop where you can pick up other gears And then see when I finish a quest there we go we got some stuff to claim Confirm. Very cool. They have a lot of the stuff that you like to see, like the claim all, so you don't have to sit and go through everything every time. Don't think I have any mail. No, I sure don't. Nothing new, at least. And, of course, we're back here, and as you can see now, I might be able to skill up, or at least be able to increase my skills. And as you can see, as you go through, you have basic, advanced, general skills. They get stronger. You can upgrade them. So, for instance, if I want to upgrade, you know, this advanced skill, all I have to do is just hit upgrade, and boom, it's done. Real simple system. No surprises. Pretty much... As you would expect, it's pretty straightforward, which I like in these type of games. You know, this is the type of game I could see me picking up, playing for 15, 20 minutes just to kill some time, and boom, I'm out of it. And that's what I like in a game that I don't think monetization is going to matter that much. At least that is my first impressions as I play this more. If I feel that is going to be an issue, I will definitely bring that up in later videos. 
But if you guys like what you saw here, let me know and I'll, I'll continue to post some videos as I progress in this game. Let me see if I can get some story mode so you guys can experience that real quickly. Yeah, you can replay some stories here. So I'm just gonna give you just a little a tease. I don't wanna make it go too long. But look at how graphically nice it looks as you get the story and it goes through you know all these different characters, what went on, the battles, what they were battling for. It's really a well written to say the least. And as you can see, well animated. Uh, it's very creative. It has that Eastern feel like it's really originating from there which i love and just makes you you know want to play forward to get more of the story released to you which i absolutely love all right like i said if you guys are interested in this let me know and i'll continue to do videos during the closed beta as i progress through the game i plan on playing through it as far as i can and with that Please like and subscribe as I always ask. It helps so much. I really appreciate it if you do. It helps the algorithm, helps the channel so much. Hope you guys are having a great day. Take care.